In two shot sequential overmolding, the first part is injection molded, then rotated within the tool to become an insert, over which the second shot is injected. Different colored versions of the same material can be used for each shot, as is commonly seen in automotive taillight covers. Or you can use two entirely different materials. Examples include a harder material for a housing and a softer material for gripping, as is common for toothbrushes and hand tools. To set up the simulation, the design is first imported. The separate model components assigned as the first shot, or the second shot, and the overmolding analysis run. Similar results are returned as with regular injection molding. The question is, what additional information do you want to learn? You can look at the warpage as a result of the overmolding process to determine if the part meets specifications. Very commonly, the temperature of the two injected materials is important, with its impact on their relative behavior. We can look at which areas of the first shot are still molten when we inject the second shot to see if cycle time should be adjusted. Or we can see what happens to the temperature of the first shot as the second shot enters. With this rear car light cover, we're looking at the first shot and plotting the temperature above its material freeze point as the second material is injected. This result indicates that there's some remelting of the first material occurring. Another consideration is the presence of plastic or metal inserts. These can have a significant effect on the quality of the final part and should be considered carefully. Simulating the overmolding process is essential for gaining valuable design insights for a large number of widely used plastic parts.